I get asked a lot what is one thing that I can change to improve my video quality and there's always one thing I suggest it's always going to be something very straightforward and that is going to be of course I'm going to write it nice and big light light be your friend so the minute you get a good light it doesn't have to be that small you can have a small light with loads of leds or you can go down the route that i went down let me show you light number one first so you know what i'm talking about that be is light number one and of course that will help you improve in many ways if you're doing photos if you're doing videos you can use this as a little filling option so that's what it looks like that's what you can expect to get and the power of it is actually redonkulous if that's even a word half power full power and that hasn't been charged in like three weeks so it's still holding power quite nicely that's something that is very helpful you want to ideally charge it like just before you use it a day before something so that's number one what else would be good light is going to be a big one but there are additional things uh, that's not too bad considering it's a whiteboard so there are a few options in the light you have got things like this which are the led panels which i used a lot when i started i had a couple of those panels they seem to spill light everywhere so when we're talking about light type of light we want is directional light so directional light is going to be your friend. Directional. What do I mean by that? Well, that light is going to be spilling out all over the place. So if we can use the light and have it go in one location. So let's have a look at this. That there is your barn doors and the lights there. So this would be better at making light come in one direction. Like that. It shouldn't spill out. However, having that one step further, you can even get things like a really powerful light and then have a large softbox with a grid system on there. And what that grid system does is basically gives you this type of light coming straight down. So this type of light will stop spilling into the background. So if you have LEDs in the background, those can shine without being disturbed by this light hitting them. So everything's got its own little place. And these lights with the grid seems to drop down straight. So it's a lot nicer, it's like directional light. So that's what we mean when I say directional light. So what are we thinking about cost wise? So something like a small one there, you're looking at under 25 to 30 enter your currency dollars that led light like the one we looked at just there you're looking at close to under 120 so we are increasing the value however you're getting more output so under 120 you could go between two and three so you could even go between that to maybe 130 but then what's something like this going to be costing us well theoretically the light source will be a dome light continuous lighting that will cost one amount then the softbox will cost another amount so you're looking at close to 200 for a beginner starter model so in terms of price what you get for your money is it worth it well it is and it isn't because light spending that kind of money on light is better than spending 600 dollars on a brand new camera for example so would I say buy a brand new camera? No, I'd say get a light first because even if you get a new camera, you're going to want some sort of lighting for that camera to get the best results from it. Most cameras don't react well to low light situations. So you want to be able to use it in different ways. And the bigger the light source, the more that's going to help you to get nice, smooth, um, natural feeling photos, videos, depending on what you're doing. So. I think there's loads of things around this but if you start with getting light playing with light to make your existing camera and lens look the best it can that will open you up to a lot more 
options so light is a big one there for you what else i'll i'll break this into three sections we'll look at something else next which might be interesting to you so something else to consider is you don't always need a brand new camera and because of that we want to look at all the options available to you so what should we be looking at well something else you could consider that that n is absolutely horrendous and to fix that n Lucky I got a whiteboard, I'm not wasting paper, I'm not killing trees. Okay, one minute. Oh my god, I messed that up again. <laughs> it can be so tricky getting a, an N in whiteboard form. Why am I struggling with that so much? Um, editor, you need to cut that out, mate. So lenses can be something that can either make it or break it. But if you're not looking to buy a brand new camera, lenses are going to be a good route to go down. Let's have a look at three reasons why lenses are something that would be helpful. New purse perspective. One. What do I mean by new perspective? So if you're used to taking photographs at a certain length, like for example, always at 50 millimeters, your eye is used to seeing photographs in a certain crop and feel. The minute you change the lens, you get a new perspective. So if you have a 50 millimeter lens, perfectly good lens to use. If you're using the mirrorless camera from Canon, as in the newer R range, you'll need an RF mounting camera lens. The 50 millimeter is a good option here. How about if you wanted to actually get something a bit more interesting? So that there is blowing our budget out of the water. However, if you were thinking about buying a brand new camera, then that money is better placed in this lens as opposed to a brand new camera if you're looking to get a new perspective. So things like the 24 to 105 give you a good all round lens as a professional series lens as well. So that actually helps you in terms of getting an aperture. It's an F4 lens. So you may not get the background blur, but if you're doing outdoor landscapes and documentary type, journalist type photographs, video, this would be a good lens. So the new perspective in that example will give you wide views as well as telephoto wide. So for example, if that's you, you're going to get a wide view of your horizon or whatever's in front of you. That looks, like a, that looks like a boat, sailing boat, but that's not what it's intended to be. Um, or if you want a, a telephoto, then you would get, if that's you there, you're taking a photo, you're getting more of a, a cone, so you'll notice how that is there. So the new perspective can be good for you in terms of making your photos, your video look nice overall. So maybe that's something to keep in mind when you're thinking about your next camera. Do you in fact need a camera or do you need a lens? So lenses giving you the wide perspective, the tally perspective. So it's that is you, that's your view, that is you, that is your view. You're getting more of the scenery that is concentrating on certain aspects of your photo or your video. So lenses is another great option. And what can we expect in terms of lenses? Well, we have got prime lenses, which is basically one length and that's your focal distance for example a 50 millimeter would be a good prime example you've got your tele lenses which we looked at today i showed you the 24 to 105 just there and i showed you the prime 50 millimeters that's a good example of two lenses one of which is a prime and one is a telephoto or tele so it depends how they name this and how you use it but in terms of photos and videos, which would be better? Well, if you're doing video and you're doing it handheld, you want IS. What is IS? It stands for image stabilization. And it just gets rid of those little movements when you're holding a camera that you have in your hand. So price wise, what can we expect to pay? Well, on a good prime, easily you can spend 500 above or below. Uh, on a good tele lens, you can easily spend 700 to 1000 So again, if you're looking at a brand new camera, you'd probably end up spending at least 2000 on a, a fancy camera, be that a Sony, be that a new Canon. 
Uh, I do offer a good few options for budget cameras, starter cameras, DSLR cameras. So keep an eye on those if you are in the market for lenses, lighting, cameras. Try and look at lenses and lighting before you look at cameras, which is why we did this episode today to help you about that. But there is still room for something else that you can upgrade. So let's have a look at that. So that was a quick look at a few things that you could buy instead of buying a brand new camera. But what else is something that you probably haven't thought about? Well, let's put this one in red. We have got... Guess what it is yet? audio so how can i show you what audio is well let me see if i can do that was supposed to be that that did not turn out the way i wanted it to that was supposed to be me looking at the mic and trying to draw my mic down live for you, but it's that's meant to be a microphone there. Okay, but that did not look like a mic at all. <laughs> well, there, mic. So audio is a big one that you can upgrade. If you have outdoor requirements, you might want to get yourself something like a wireless mic system which works very well that's like from Hollyland lock system or if you're doing a studio setup you might want an actual microphone for audio if your audio sounds good your video doesn't have to be as epic as it needs to be both are great but audio sets mic you can have wireless you could have shotgun I have got some shotgun mics coming by the way which I will be testing out. They're basically like long sticks that you can... That looks like a firework. My uh, drawing today is not as on par as it normally is. But I think as you look through these, what you will notice is... I've looked at a lot of little li things that maybe you didn't consider. So audio, lights, lenses are all things outside the realm of you having to buy a brand new camera. Cameras can be easy buys and you don't think because you've got a brand new camera that you're going to be fine sometimes think about the lighting and the other things that can make it better for you and if you're not sure how to place this all together don't worry watch this video here which will show you how to set up your lights around your current camera setup i'll see you on that video next